guys, I'm coming to you from my craft room. I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, with this shot, I'm actually using natural light. You can see that I have some artificial light in the back, but I am gonna go over today what I use to film, the mounts that I use, the ones that I've tried that haven't worked, that kind of thing, and just give you a little update because I've been doing this now for about a year and a half, and I finally got monetized on YouTube. Um, it's a struggle, and I want to share with you what is involved if you decide you want to be a YouTuber of craft things, and just the cost that's involved. I was thinking I would make another series um, that's like a card maker or a craft room chat where we can talk about like what what have I invested in this business so far and what have I gotten out of it and I'll just be straight up honest with numbers with you um, so that you know what you're getting into. My husband is super supportive and we decided when I was going to leave the medical field for a while that I wanted to try this and see if I could actually at least cover my crafting habit and hopefully make money at it one day. He's very generous and wants me to give it a good three year try. So right now I'm at a year and a half and I wanna tell you how it's going. I think that that would have been super valuable to me if I could have found a crafter that would just say, don't buy this gear, buy this. So if you're interested in that series, make sure you let me know in the comments. I would like to know if that's worth making for you. So today though, we're just gonna talk about my filming setup. I will try to give you um, cost of things. Um, I do not have any affiliate links for any of these lights. I do have a coupon code for my stand and I highly recommend this stand. I have tried three other stands and they just did not work. So I would say start with the right stand. <laughs> that is very important. I'm actually using it filming this video um, and I wanted to, I'm, I'm actually holding it right now. <laughs> so I'm holding it because I don't have a window ledge to put it on and really when I'm filming myself, natural light usually works a little bit better. It's a little bit more flattering. Um, so tip number one, use natural light when you can. But the way my craft room is set up, I have to use artificial light to film the overhead videos. So I want to show you the setup. I will try to point things out in this video, but feel free to put in the comments any questions that you have. Um, if you want me to expand on something in another video, I will. Also, I want you to know that it is very important as a new YouTuber to have subscribers. And if you've got anybody who can do that, that would be great. It's always good to start with family, but I want you to know that 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed and that does not cost you anything. It just helps the person. If you enjoy their video at all, please give them a subscription, a like. You do not have to put notifications on so that you're seeing all their videos, but it helps so much. So please do that for me. I would really appreciate it. And I'll get right into this, how we're filming these videos. Okay, so let's head into my craft room. I'm gonna show you all the lights that are surrounding me when I film, the mount that I use, and I have links for all of these things. I'm gonna talk to you about each one and what I think about it, why I have it, and just kind of go over some details so that you will see what to do. I bought so many things in the beginning that were not worth it. So now that I've finally got a setup that I'm enjoying, especially with this Archon mount, I want to show you how to use things. I want to show you what I've purchased that I feel like is worth it, and we'll go from there. First thing I wanna talk about are sources of light. So I have this big window right here. Um, yes, I could have put my desk right in front of it, but instead I use these shades because the window right there gets so much intense light that it's a little bit overwhelming and creates a lot of shadows. Above me, I have a ceiling fan with a light that is very yellow. I never turn this light on, especially if I'm videoing. And really, it doesn't add much light at all to the room. So my dream one day would be to replace that with all of these lights hanging above me. But until I can afford to do that, here's what I'm using. This is an Archon mount, and this mount, I've tried three other ones, which I'm gonna tell you about, but this mount is my favorite so far. It holds a phone, as you can see in this shot. Um, I do film from my iPhone 13 Pro, and I don't have another camera, and that has been working great. 
So I've tried some small stands um, from Amazon. I've tried a stand that hooked onto the back of my desk and leaned over everything that seemed like it would be really sturdy. And this is the sturdiest stand that I have found. What I really love is how many positions it can go into. And I'm gonna show you with my hands, but I just want you to know the bottom of this is weighted. I don't know how heavy it is. I feel like it's at least five pounds. Does that sound right? I don't know. It's heavy in my hand. I can tell you that much. And here is how I usually use it. So I'm gonna use my husband's phone to show you. It's got these clips right here that just pull apart. You want to make sure that you're not clipping it it on the buttons of your phone because you know that's going to give you some kind of emergency signal or it's going to shut your phone off. So put it in like this. It stays very level. You can adjust it if you need to. And then I can do vertical and horizontal filming, which I really like about that upside down film. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with this. And then that little area, you know, can also be changed out to hold a camera. Eventually, if I ever get a DSL, I can add my camera onto this. These are little knobs that allow you to move this in so many different directions. And I use this if I'm going to film myself. I actually just point the camera towards myself and hold the stand in front of a window. The other way that this can move is that you can make it taller. So this, sorry, I have it really tight. So you can undo this and really extend your stand and make it very tall. I don't like mine to be super tall because I need to see what's on the camera. Um, and also it just doesn't get this mat that I use below it very well. So here's one more close up for you. And then I'm going to show you what this other little area on it is. It comes with this, which has some clips that you attach to it, kind of like the phone. And you can add an iPad or something that you can, another screen so you can see what you're filming and it tilts all different ways um, so very nice if you do that I do not do that at this current time you'll notice I have this on a mat and see how there's a little gap there that's why this stand seems like it's wobbling I like to scoot mine over on my mat and so a lot of times I put a counterweight back here to keep it from wobbling at all if I move it to the desk it is perfectly flat and will not shake at all but I just like the camera placement when I have it part of the way on this mat that I love to film on. You see this ridge here. I don't have the extra clips in that hold the iPad right now because like I said, I'm not using that at this point. I'm hoping to do lives at some point and get there. But this is the really nice camera holder that comes with it and you'll see those ball and joints. You can adjust so many things on this stand. But I think the reason I love it so much is because it's just so sturdy. And the other ones that I tried, the one that I had hooked to my desk as a mount, um, the problem was is that I couldn't move it around anywhere. It had a couple of joints that let me move it, but it was off of Amazon, and it just wouldn't give me the freedom of picking up the whole mount and moving everything. I can use this to film myself. So there's a lot of nice things that come with that. So that being said, I know this is a long thing about the Archon mount, but I'm going to get to the lighting. I just want you to know that this is an expensive mount, but I spent way more trying to find something else cheap. So I would highly recommend it. I have a coupon code for it in the description that will give you 20% off. So make sure to use that coupon code if you're looking for a stand today um, and tell me what you think. Make sure if you get one that you let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about it. Let's talk lighting. I'm going to talk about these two small lights that are actually standing on my desk. These are by Newer and they are small LED panels. Um, probably about six inches. I will link them in the description. I do have a coupon code for those as well. These two things were the first thing that I bought, and they worked great for quite a while. Um, but I needed to angle my, have some lighting coming from the back, and I just wanted more saturation of light. That's why I went with the other ones. But if you've got a small area, these provide a ton of light. Let me show you in a picture how bright they are. Okay, so here's that light. It's like I said, about six inches. I'll show you what the back and the code and everything on it is. But they provide a decent amount of light. You can see they're not quite as bright as my big lights, of course, but they 
focus light and they're nice because you've got so many ways you can move them so this light right here this is all the information on it and of course like I said I'll link it in the description and have a coupon co code for you there but these provide a ton they have these little inserts that you can filter the light a little bit I don't ever use any other color I just like this because it's kind of like having a soft box over your light um, so it makes that light a little bit more I don't know, pleasing to the eye, I guess you would say. So the other thing is that I can tilt this all kinds of ways. The stand is relatively sturdy. It's not as sturdy as my big stands. This big light is the one that, of course, I love the most. It's got this soft box around it. It's another one of the newer video lights. Um, that's the name of the company is newer. And you've got this little area. It will not tilt. So when it attaches with the box, it won't tilt. You've got to just put it at its stand height or you've got to buy an attachment to actually tilt that light, which is one of the downsides of the box light. So I've got this other small newer on this edge. And then we'll go around and we'll look at these two lights that I use behind me. These two stand lights, very sturdy. The difference in them in the softbox is that they've got these little, I don't know what you want to call them, like shutters around the outside. And those help you to focus light where you want the light to go, which is really nice. So let me show you that up close so you can see how those work. So with this one right here, you see it's got these little, um, they're actually metal shutters, and you can move them. Sorry to put my arm too much in the way, but they move not super easily, which is kind of nice because I knock into them all the time and I'd hate to move them around. Um, but those things can move and focus the light to that area. See how it's kind of like a blinder and it takes the light and heads it towards my project? The way I set these, and I'm going to do a pause right here so you can see. These have batteries that can go in them, but I set this white all the way up, yellow all the way down, and turn it on. And that's the amount of light I use all the time because I don't want any added yellow to my project. Here's one last look at the setup here. Um, with these bigger lights, I've got all of them turned all the way down on the yellow and all the way up on the white. And with the small lights, you only have the option of the brightness adjustment, but they're very white lights. So I have coupon codes for these in the description and links to all the products. Those do provide me a small commission. I would appreciate your support so much. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful for you. I, like I said, would love to do a series on this if that's of interest to you. So make sure in the comments you tell me what kind of things you're wondering. Um, if you would like me to do a craft room series where I just chat about the cost of becoming a YouTuber, um, blogs, all of those things. I can, I just feel like there needs to be more information on how much this costs. And if you're gonna invest in it, you need to be ready to spend the time and actually know what you need and not waste money on things that just do not work. So I want to give you that update. I am going to do a craft room tour soon. I know you see my craft room back here. I have moved since my last craft room tour. I'll pop up the last craft room tour in case you wanna see it because a lot of the um, actual products are the same, but the setup is a little different. So I've moved from the Midwest back home to Tennessee and I will make sure to post just a really good um, craft room tour so that you can see everything that's in here. I know I love watching people's craft room. That makes me so happy. So um, I will do that soon. I've also had one request for how I take photos, things like that. So just anything you think of, put it down there. Trust me, it takes a lot to come up with all of these ideas and I love your help when you'll give it to me. So I hope that everybody has a great day. Make sure you use that coupon code if you're needing a stand. Um, that coupon code gives you 20% off. It's Nikki Hart cards and I've written it out in the description so you'll have it. That is for the Archon mount. I highly, highly recommend this mount. Um, I think that you should not waste your money trying something cheaper and just get this mount if you're getting serious. So make sure you use that coupon code. That does track if anybody buys anything through my coupon code. I think that they will end up, if I get enough sales, giving me a little bit of commission on that. So just make sure that you do that. I appreciate it so much. I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Have a great day. Bye. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button and make sure you check out some of these other videos. See you soon.